Hola, hola, hello, hello, it's Porgy Tire Biter, and today we are going to get away from our destruction, which was the Illagers, and we are going to go actually caving. We're going to go find a cave and finally get our first piece of armor. Can you believe that I've wasted three episodes up to this point, and I still even haven't gotten armor? But I did get to see some cool things I hadn't seen before, so that was fun. So, I'm just going to look around and see what I can find. I, I think I see some more piggies to my left. That's a pretty nice little area. And I'm going to go grab maybe one pumpkin to take along. And it's a piggy. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. Let me go ahead and get this. Alright, give me some piggies. Piggy, piggy, ever, ever. Sorry guys, thank you for your donation though, I do appreciate it. My hunger fund. Oh, yes, there you go. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we're wandering up into the snowy areas, the snowy mountain tops. And hanging over the edge is hard to get down. Hey, you ready? Okay, uh, then we'll go over this way. No water down. Hmm, there's some more pigs in the distance there. Oh, oh man, I was going for that little ledge and I ended up falling down half the ledge. Oy, oy, oy. I lost two hearts on that. All right, but we got some steak, so we're gonna eat it up and go get these other foods. Again, we're, the whole plan is we wanna make sure we've got plenty of food and I should make sure I have plenty of wood. There's some chickens. It'd be kind of good to, good to get their uh, food as well as their feather. Especially since I have all these crossbows and I, I have no arrows. So I need to make some feathers. I got a, a few uh, flint right there. All right, so I need to I can't eat, I'm not hungry, so I need to get rid of some stuff. I need to clean out my inventory a little bit here. Hmm. Let's see, what can I get rid of? I got a lot of these bows, uh, these crossbows. I don't know why I need that many, but I was wondering if I could marry them later on, but I'll get rid of the worst ones. Maybe keep a couple to see if I can, uh, Put them together and they'd work on the anvil or something like that. Am I getting the, uh, am I getting the feathers? Grab this old piggy. I'm you, dude. What's up with you? Ooh, you did not want... I still haven't picked up the feathers. I still have too much junk in my trunk. <laughs> get rid of that little one piece of wood. All right, so let's see. Do I need, I really feel, no, no, we'll just continue on. Here's another uh, chicken. Ow, golly, I take some bad jumps. Anyway, got that chicken. We got plenty of stuff to cook up. Let's go ahead and make a few arrows now. So we got these, I think I got one feather left. And we'll take back our crafting table. I need to get rid of some junk. Let me throw out these eggs. Come on, baby chick. Baby chick. No baby chick. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. Let's grab a little tiny bit more coal before we go down into the mine. Now, you know, I know uh, mining in itself is not super exciting to watch. But it's gonna be very important for us right now, especially for the long run, especially since we're trying the hardcore deal. We need to get some some iron and, and some, hopefully better. We'll take a little short cut down and we're gonna hop on through the little uh, oak forest. Oh, well, there's a few spruce trees as well. This is a really cute little area as well, it looks like, but probably a little confusing. It's not far away. I want to venture off and find a really good area. You know, to maybe either overlooking something or underneath something or something fun. Or if I can find a village, maybe I'll 
just hang out. Oh, but I have bad omen two. That means I'm doubly elevated. So I need to, I think I can drink some milk and the bad omen will go away. I did keep the coordinates. Let me take a little nap here. All right, I did keep the coordinates for that Illager outpost. So maybe what I'll try to do is get rid of this omen, go to find a village, hopefully close by, and then we will, you know, then I can redo the omen once I find where the village is and get them somewhat prepared, build a fence maybe around it. All right, let's get across here. We need to find us a, a big old cave. The mouth of the cave. Let's make sure we have a quick exit out. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and make a few more torches. And we'll kind of peek, grab this piece of iron. Only one piece of iron? Yikes. Hey, that one came back. Did you see that? And here we go. Let's get some more iron so we can at least get something cooking up. Our first pieces of iron that have been mined. There are, I can hear things down there. Things back there. Bad things. Unfriendly things. Things that don't want to be my friend necessarily. But before we go in there, let's go ahead and come all the way back out here. We'll set up our um, oven or stove and we'll cook up some of this iron so we can at least get something going. Well, that was my first little test of the um, crossbow. It's pretty weird. It's got a, a, a very slow pullback and then it just shoots out. So we'll try it again later on when we get a chance. Uh, even though I think I'll eventually make a regular bow because I'm just more used to the regular bows, you know, at this point. But we'll see. I'll, I'll mess around with it a little bit. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and make us some good weapons and tools. Let's see. What can we get rid of? Do I lay that stone sword? Go ahead and, hmm, what do I want to make? I think I'll go ahead and make a uh, chest plate. Boom, I have a little bit of armor, finally. Mm, and we're all happy, happy, happy. All right, we'll cook up the rest of this iron. Hopefully you thin out this uh, my inventory a little bit and then we will start going into the cave and hopefully do a little bit of mine and maybe we'll run into something cool. A mine shaft or a dungeon in the area. Something. Hopefully. Let's get rid of a little bit more junk. We'll throw out the cobble because they got a lot of dirt. Get all my food ready. Yeah, I don't want to throw out the reeds yet. I still got too many crossbows, but I'll get rid of them when I need the space. So let's head on in. Here comes the Mr. Zombie. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Hello. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Let's light up the situation a little bit. And I see some more zombies coming. Oh, it's a chorus line of zombies. One, two, three. You know, one's got a shovel. And he's not afraid to use it. Ow! See? Oh, that was mean. He took off two hearts with that shovel. That was the meanest shovel in the world. I did not enjoy that. All right, let's wander down now that we got a little bit of hearts back, but eat a little potato, and wander in. Hmm. All right, let's, we're gonna try to preserve our uh, Torches as much as possible, make them go far, long distances. And as we wander into this big, dark, open area here, hmm. I, mean, I just feel like I'm gonna get shot anytime now, you know. All right, there's a cobweb. That's a cobweb, so that's a sign that there may be a mine shaft maybe over there. 
it could be the top of a dungeon as well. Get this iron on this side while we're here. Let's just venture get this iron. That way we can have some stuff cooking up. Oi! Oh, ow! Ow! That was rude. A little bit more iron on the walls right here, on the ceiling. Grab these while we can. And let's peek around here. See what's up here. There's a little bit more iron to grab on the way. And we got a lot, we got, we're getting some good iron here now, folks. Let's, let's go on up here and see what's up here. See if there's anything further on. Even though obviously we want to go down, but we gotta check out this. Oh, dead end. All right, let's take our torches back as well. And we'll kind of seal off this so it's not easily walking throughable like if a creeper decided to spawn back there. We'll grab this iron, it's right in our room that we were standing in a few minutes ago and didn't see. And let's put the iron down and, or the uh, oven down and start cooking up some of this iron. We want to make ourselves a full set of iron if we can. Throw these banners out, see what they look like. They're kind of cool banners. Uh, 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 okay, chop these guys down. Those are fine. Hey, see, where did that arrow come from? Where did it come from? Probably the dark over there. Keep an eye out. I still don't see anything. Let's peek back here where the spider web was. We got stuff cooking. See, yeah, okay, there we go, there we go. We are in a confirmed mine. We gonna grab a few of these string. See if we can make ourselves a, hey, there we go. Yeah, that worked. See, that worked, but it, it, it took so much time to pull back for me that it gave the skeleton time to shoot me back before I got it. I saw it. That's my shot off, even though my shot was... The crossbow is a, a, a harder shot, it feels like, it seems like. So anyway, we'll go ahead and make us some more armor so we can properly go into this mine shaft without dying right away. Should have made a... Hey, hi guys. Uh, 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 uh. Should've made a, I'm gonna make a, a bucket for sure soon, before I go down there. Um, I wish I had thought about that. Oh well, that's right, I didn't have iron before. I was gonna say, I wish I would've thought about that upstairs when I was on the, uh, in the world, but uh, I didn't have iron back then. Anyway, I got plenty of iron now. I'm gonna. Make myself a full set, hopefully. And an extra pick, or iron pick, rather. Extra iron pick. I don't know why I've been carrying these around. We'll use those, get them out of our inventory. All right, where is, should I go ahead and venture in? I'm kind of afraid if I go into the mine shaft, I won't necessarily be able to find my way back. But we'll go in just a tiny bit, peek in there, and see what we can find. See anything? I think I see a sneaky creeper in the dark. Right over there. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Oh, he's. Oh my God. Oh, there's the. Uh, Ooh, okay. Ah! Oh gosh, double creeper crunked. 
But luckily, because I now have armor, it didn't do as much damage as it would have. That probably would have hurt me pretty pretty well if I did not have my armor in this room. Let's get the zombie. Here comes the cave spider. Oh, he got me. I, I never understand how the cave spiders, the cave spiders seem to have the longest reach in the world. All right, cave spiders suck. They take you down by eight, you know, take off like eight to nine hearts. Or it looks like more like six hearts. I caught it with a little food, luckily I used to eat. And we're almost through cooking up this iron. And then we can keep going. Or we could just peek back in there again. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Now, uh, I'm gonna seal up that area with the spiders, because I just don't want to deal with those guys anymore. Even though it looks like there's probably some weird back entrances over there. I just gotta be careful in that area. Light it up so can see. Yeah. It's going to be a little hazardous that way, so I think if I go into the mine, I'm going to go the other way, right away. Anyway, let's go check out if we're almost done, almost done, that's good. Nothing around, nothing, nothing to be worried about. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here with the end of this cooked iron, and we will throw away a little bit of stuff, and see you next time. Please like and subscribe, and please leave a comment down below. It lets me know if someone's watching. Thanks. Bye.